Hello everyone, welcome back to Crosslash Game. Evie here with another video, and today I'm just uh, caught wind of a little article uh, or a little bit of news that that came out um, around Final Fantasy VII. Some some quote stuff come out from the producer Yoshinori Kitase of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So it's no surprise that with uh, Rebirth coming out in just over a month from now. Uh, there's there's going to be little things spinning around the internet and, and it's kind of like sometimes good because it brings obviously attention to the game but sometimes you can just see that pe that some publications will go out of the way to make a mountain of, uh, uh, out of a mohill when he's said or uh, said something in the past and they, <laughs> we just don't know how to take it so uh, this is not really game related uh, it's more about uh, Game Informer did uh, this little piece around the chaotic development of Final Fantasy VII. Um, so if I just change this here, so uh, yeah, how the cha chaotic development of Final Fantasy VII changed the course of the franchise, right? So it's just a piece about the past and the, the history of the game, the legacy, da di da di da, and uh, they they kind of have quotes from different people that were involved in the in the in, in making the game back then. You know, from the Mora and, and and some some bits about Najima, but the one that made the rounds recently is um, a quote by Yoshinori Kitase. Now, I don't know how to take it. Um, in recent weeks, we've had uh, some issues out there of people translating uh, uh, original content from Japanese to English, so the localization of of, uh, of the Japanese language into the English language, and we've come to realize that there are some people out there that will add or change tidbits of a sentence to make it sound, uh, or to push an agenda, right? So I'm not going to go into that story, but I'm always now, I'm on, on the back foot. I don't know how to take certain things, because um, unless it's literally been proofread by someone who's who heard what the person who only speaks Japanese, if, if they heard what they were saying and then they see what's been translated across and they say, yep, that's literally what they were trying to say, I'm now a bit on the back foot because I don't know how to take it because unfortunately the West's media is really pushing this woke agenda and trying to like uh, make the, the East of them look and sound like they're out of touch and uh, in a way saying that they should adhere to the to the woke mind virus. <laughs> Uh, which I'm not up for that because if not for the East and the games that come from Japan and Korea and and, Ch and China and, and what what not, um, it's it's uh, we don't we wouldn't have great content at the moment. I, I it's my opinion. I'm I'm kind of I grew up with the Japanese market, the Japanese games, um, the, the the media, the cartoons, the manga, the anime. I grew up with all that stuff and they never held back they never they never sort of constricted themselves because of what other people thought about them um it's kind of liberating to see some of the stuff that comes out of it yeah there are some bit that's a bit on the nose and some things that they do that may may not be to everyone's taste but that's fine they understand that they don't care if it's not to your taste don't w watch it read it don't pay any attention they don't care and i think that's a good way to do to do to to just be free to to express and, and imagine something into into reality whether it be a video game whether it be a comic or a manga or an anime or whatever like it, it gives them creative freedom because the sky's the limit um it kind of shows in how they do their content anyway like the, some of the best stories come are coming from japan at the moment anyway we're not going to go too much into that but ultimately what this article was about is the past and the legacy of final fantasy 7 and some of the the, the, how the game was made and as, as the title says the, cha the chaotic development about it. Now you get to a point here where um, Katazi says something and ultimately it's been taken either within context and that's exactly what he said again pinch of salt I don't know uh, given that it's been translated um, it, because this is not a question and answer scenario this, this article is just Da, 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 talk about this the past da, 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 he said this and i quote they said this and i quote and and so there's a point here where they talk about um so, sort of the message and the themes behind final fantasy 7 the, the original uh, game and kitaze basically goes on to say so i'll read that the, the paragraph though he feels the themes of final fantasy 7 are still important today he does have some regrets regarding the team's approach to those issues in 1997 considering so they put and 
They put like a quote now, so considering the way to depict social problems, social issues and cultural depictions in some ways, I'm a bit embarrassed by the original title, Kitaze says. In its expression, in some ways, it is very young and naive in itself. That is learning. That is a learning for us. But at the same time, I do believe that perhaps that is one of the reasons why it was so widely accepted. It's not perfect. It's kind of uneven and jagged in its young and naive nature of its depiction. Of course, after more than 25 years, there is a lot of personal learning, changes and growth. But looking back at it, on it, some parts of it, I am a bit embarrassed. I'm not entirely sure how this was meant to be taken, um, only because it's, it's, it's maybe, what was the question? I guess is my, is my first, the first thing that comes to mind is what was the question that made him say this? Because I don't think he would say this or something in any way. He wouldn't even talk about, um, you know, the social problems, social issues and cultural depictions. Like, I don't think that was ever in their mind clearly because it, it's not how japanese development developers do their games they if they put a character of a specific background whether they whether it be a person of color whether it be from a different country whether it be uh, gay or not like it's a, clearly final fantasy 7 had all that that's the funniest thing it did and uh, and and i think that ultimately Katazi is, I think what he's trying to say is everyone, I guess, might have a regret in their life. Um, I, we all do. There's things we've done in our past that we're not very proud of. But this is his work. And he's not really apologising for it, but he's saying he's a bit embarrassed, which which is, is, is bad, I guess, in a way, because I, I would never say that about Final Fantasy VII if I had created it. And I don't think maybe of the some of the other guys, especially Najima, who's the, 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 the narrative uh, director or, or who wrote the story, uh, or most of the story, you know, he had the final say, according to this article, um, would feel that way. I think Final Fantasy VII, if anything, tackles a lot of subjects very straight on, head on. Uh, and, and anyway... Because of this section, other publications, such, such as Bounding Into Comics, honed into it, literally. They grabbed that sentence and they literally just went into it, you know. Yoshinori Kitaze, producer of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, is embarrassed how the original game uh, he directed handled social issues and, and cultural depictions. That's not what the article says, first of all. like it, It's like they're just going into it as to say, you know, oh no... Here, Sid Hywin berates Shara, demanding he makes tea for the party in Final Fantasy VII. It's like, uh, or, or tea for here, would you stop acting like a retard and climb? It's like, these these things, first of all, this is the localization team. So there was, which apparently, according to, to the history of the game, was not was only one man. Um, but, uh, and there was a lot of errors. There was a lot of things that, that were happening back then. You know, they didn't have the best team to translate the, the, the Japanese into English uh, language at the time. But this is what it was. And the, the, the localization team or man who did this, he went, you know, maybe as much as he could word for word, right? Kataz is taking ownership of that. Kataz is basically saying, yep, yeah, everything you've seen, there's some bits there, here or there, that we don't, we, I'm embarrassed about. Okay, and sure, but why would you be embarrassed about something that has no, you, you wouldn't have known about it back then, it, clearly, because you did it anyway. It's, it wasn't a case of this is good, this is bad, this is evil. In movies, we see a lot of depictions of, of things that people disagree with. Um, and, and ultimately, it, everyone will go as a movie, it's make-believe, you know, take it with a pinch of salt. Games are exactly the same thing. But ultimately, they did nothing wrong in the original. They, they, even some of the, if they're talking about some of the, 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 the lines that were, that were kind of written for the game, it, it still doesn't matter. There's some worse things said in today's media. Like, some of the things I've, I've, I've seen, some of the people being depicted and, 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 and called on or labeled is horrible. But, but it's, I take it as a pinch of salt because I'm like, oh, well, it's just, like a comedian, it's just a joke. It, it doesn't matter. It's not relevant. And to, and to hear Katazi, again, we don't know the context. We don't even know if it's been translated properly. But to hear Katazi say he's embarrassed about it is a bit... It, it, it just makes me a little bit sad because him and a lot of the other guys that worked in the original game are kind of like my heroes and I hope to one day meet them. Um, 
and and the only thing I worry is that if this is true obviously look at the the negative rubbish that comes out from one line you know Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth producer you know she says is a bit embarrassed by the original game's portrayal of the social problems social. It, but it is it's just it's it's I don't know how to take it I think that's where I'm coming from with this and I also think that it's not up to Ryan Pearson here of Bounding Into Comics to say, well, that's exactly what he said. Here's a whole article breaking exactly down that one sentence. We don't know. No one heard him say it in Japanese. I don't know who, who heard it. Someone did and, and, and translated it. Um, has Yoshinori Kitazu vetted what was translated? I don't know. Um, but my point my point is, is that I don't believe that the Japanese developers in you know are adhering to the woke side there are of course there's going to be changes it's been 25 years there's going to be ways they would have done it different clearly remake has already shown how they've changed certain things but the core of it is still there the core elements of of what final fantasy 7 uh, was originally translated into remake is still there so i was very happy with it i didn't see anything different i didn't see anything that majorly changes you know what the original was you know maybe there's a few things I can point out graphically that I thought they should have left in, but they chose to change it maybe for ratings. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not happy by it, and I hope it's not a sign of things to come. You know, like a, are they now caring a little bit too much about how they portray their ideas out to in their games, like? Is it going to change too much? Oh, we're not going to use this word. We're going to use this word. We're not. We're, we're going to now have to have a certain number of this in there. Not, I really don't want that. And and rebirth will really be. It will tell us. Totally, time will tell. Not long now until rebirth comes out. So we will see how much influence does Katarza's embarrassment from the original game. How much influence does has that been in the working title of rebirth? So. Anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about. Um, it's just, yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit annoyed and a bit shocked by it because I don't know if it's true or not. I don't, I don't understand the context of it. Uh, but we'll leave it, we'll leave it as that. I hope, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And uh, yeah, leave a like, share, and subscribe. That'd be lovely. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Bye.